everybody! Welcome back to Miss Valley Makes. Uh, so it's 10.30, it is breakfast brunch time. So we're going to be making some eggs benny first. Um, but we're not eating bread, so I'm going to make some hash bread because I have some potatoes that I need to use. I'm not very keto friendly, but sometimes you're just going to indulge a little bit. It's a Sunday, it's a nice it's slow, Sunday slowdown. Um, we're also going to go into some keto ramen. So we're going to use these weird funny noodles that I found. Um, that I think I've had before, but I think they weren't too great. So let's make them delicious. Uh, and then we're gonna go into a berry galette. Um, we're gonna make some like a little almond butter um, and then do some berries and then make a really nice keto pie crust as well. So it's gonna be a delicious stream. Uh, and like I said before, it's a Sunday slow down when it's gonna relax. We're gonna make some tea and we're gonna chill out. So before we go into this, let's go back to last time on. So yesterday we did uh, Molly Weasley's corned beef sandwiches, cauldron cakes which are on the screen, and pumpkin juice because it was a Harry Potter themed stream, uh, an episode of Game of Grab for uh, April Sweet who redeemed use her Molly dollars out in stream currency. Um, so this is here is the pumpkin juice which looks really cute. Um, so it's like a fizzy pumpkin-y, it more tastes like apple pie. Um, and then you had chocolate cupcakes that were made into like little cauldrons. They didn't work as well as I wanted them to, but they were delicious nevertheless. And this is the corned beef sandwiches that Mrs. Weasley, her name is Molly as well, uh, sent the Weasley kids off to Hogwarts every year with some sandwiches. We received a huge, huge donation from J Fry, uh, $50 towards stream, um, and that will be setting up the new stream in the new house. Um, we received a lot of follows, Sub, four subs and resubs, um, bits and some hosts. So it was a lovely stream yesterday in my dress up. Next time we should get a picture of my dress up. I was, I thought I did pretty good. Gothic princess, hello, welcome back. Hola, hello, Neff. Bit tipsy, but I'm here. How you doing? Um, hey, April, how you doing? Cat. All right. Um, so I gotta boil the kettle. I'm gonna make some tea. Woo, golly, golly, golly. So, last night left me in a bit of a sour note. Last night we did a second game stream and I played Crash Bandicoot and my skills. Uh, you know when, like, it's really hard to try new things and you not be good at them and then you're, like, your confidence goes low and then you kind of, you get in a really negative headspace and I was really uncomfortable being negative. And so I went to bed last night and I just felt like crap. And I like, this morning I woke up better, like I, I like I'm happier and, but just getting like, you know, there's just some things creeping in, like, you know, about the move and stuff. And I'm just trying to like chill out, relax and, you know, be here hundred um, percent. So I just thought I'd let you know that, you know, we're trying to look for a house and trying to find the perfect house for streaming. Um, Cause I want things and I like things to go my way. Everybody does. Um, and sometimes, sometimes things don't. So you just got to be positive and be open to you know the universe coming in and finding me the perfect house for the stream and uh, for the dogs and everything that we need. So I'm just putting those good happy thoughts out there. Um, and yesterday, you know, it highlighted that gaming is very hard for me. You know, and there's a lot of people on Twitch and people are very quick to not criticize, but. Twitch is a, a gaming network, and it, for someone that comes on Twitch as a like as a cooking streamer and that doesn't have a whole lot of background in gaming, it is quite daunting. And I get hard on myself, um, like we all do, like when you're not good at a game. But then when people kind of flat laugh at you, it's a little bit frustrating because I'm you know I'm frustrated on myself, and then people like I know they're being supportive, but sometimes it's a little bit frustrating. So yesterday I had a hard night. It was just, I felt a bit hard and down and sorry for myself. But we're over that. We're over that. So how's everyone else doing? How's their weekend? How's your weekend? Hey girl! Hey Neff! <laughs> Neff, what are you drinking tonight? What, like, you're not, is it like a, are you a bourbon drinker? Like a hard liquor? Beer? What, what are you, what is your poison? So I'm drinking, this This tea reminds me of my mom actually. So this is French Earl Grey. 
so look at the I didn't even know that I had a, a dent. Maybe because I, I just dropped it just then. So it's um, normal Earl Grey tea, which is black tea with bergamot. Um, this has a little bit of um, fruity petals in there as well. So it's got hibiscus, sunflowers, rose, mallow in there. So it's like, oh, it's so nice. Such a nice tea. Very fruity. Chamomileable, how you doing? We're just making some tea. How are you today? Welcome to Smelly Me. All right. I always do too much, but this is a huge cup, so. Um, I need to get some more. One bag per cup. There's no one bag in there. Maybe this used to be tea bags. Oh, it used to be tea bags. Do, 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 do. Alright, so tea. My weekend is good, just got finished with pet sitting and now I'm back. So were you staying at those people's houses, April? Like, do you go and stay at their house or can you, are you able to bring them to your house? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing really well, it's lovely to have you with us. Still waiting on the photo. Oh, the photo of the dog. Seed's obsessed with dogs. We both have, but. For someone that's obsessed with dogs, I posted two photos of cats in our, um, in our pets channel in Discord. And I was like, who am I? I don't even like cats. But there was some very cute, it was more for like, I know there's a lot of people in the community that like cats. So I was like, ooh, Jessie might like this, or you know, someone might like this. But I'm definitely a cat person. Photo of what? Oh, Neff. Um, Exceed wanted a photo of um, April's dog she was pet sitting. I forgot to take a photo next time. Alright, so some tea. So I usually just put it in like a strainer like this and then throughout the day I kind of put some more water in there and maybe a little bit more tea and then it kind of... And then I feel like I'm not wasting the tea. It's like a second use thing. She means, did I say I'm a cat person? Damn, oh wait, it's too hot. One day I'll learn how to make my own tea. Um, so, all right, the three best things of your whole week, everybody. I wanna know the three best things of your week. What did you guys get up to? Something positive, some wins of the week. I got our, our permit for our container, our shipping container. So we're moving house. Um, I just keep looking up at the dogs, aren't they so cute? The green screen, the lighting isn't great to lighten because the, the fabric here and here is oh, behind me and here the, the fabric is really light so it picks up it really easy but this one is a really dark, it's like a, an old green screen that we used to use so it's not as good. That's why the dogs are a bit like fuzzy. My, I watched the person's house as well. Ah, so, as I stated, okay. One, drunk right now. Two, getting a big hug from my six-year-old nephew after getting him a toy. Oh. Uh, three, the pizza I have right now. Good, Neff. Neff, that's number one rule for the Molly stream is bring food. Bring food. What kind of pizza, Neff? And you didn't tell me, Neff, what is your, um, your drink of choice? Like, are you a beer person or hard liquor? What do you drink? Because Sunday streams for us a Saturday night for Neff. And Neff, is, Saturday nights is his drinking night. He hugged my leg so tight it hurt, but it melted. Oh, that is super cute. Vodka. Okay. Whiskey vodka. Pizza shawarma. Sh shawarma? I'm guessing you're saying shawarma. So what kind of, pre like it was his birthday present? Um, we're gonna make breakfast first. I thought we'd do some hash brown and then on top of the hash brown do a poached egg um, Or do you want fried egg exceed today? Fried or poached and then we're gonna do some hollandaise sauce because for the pastry recipe we need egg whites Damn, that's a big mug. It is it's huge, but it means that I can drink Oh, Throughout the day, but it's so hot. I keep drinking um, 
Can't name any good things this week, Molly, because seeing as it's been a rough week, tomorrow will be the year. Oh, April. I'm thinking of you. I'm really sorry that that happened to you, and I know it's going to be a tough week, so um, I hope to see you more in stream if you, if you can, and we can keep you happy, and we can keep you positive. Um, I don't know what I would do, um, and I, I can't even think, um, you know, what to say, and um, but you know that our thoughts are with you and you know we love having you here in the community and if there's anything that we can do to kind of cheer you up let us know the thing is i'm turning 25 in october and when that little bugger hugged me and gripped my legs so tight i feel like there's more to that sentence i got this feeling like god damn i want a child of my own <laughs> oh nev oh that's so cute so you get all that, like, just that, like that clucky feeling. See, so this is what women get. And they're like, oh, I want a baby. See, I don't, I, I haven't got that clucky, like, I, I haven't got that clucky feeling in a long time. And I, I used to be a really maternal person, but now I see children and I want to punch them. No, not, I'm just joking. But like, I don't know it, it's weird like I always and I know I want kids but I think they'll be different when I have my own but I think we're just not in the life stage yet to want them uh, but then I see babies but like children I just want them to go from babies to like to stay and like an infant or like a, a toddler and then like be an adult like I don't want that in between stage or I just want them to like freeze them so that they're only small I guess my three things are that I'm making little progress learning Japanese. Oh, wow. Um, I've been looking into starting to learn how to smoke meat. Oh, oh my God, you and I are gonna get on so well. And three, I have uh, learning expensive, some really expensive ligma. What is ligma? Wow, chamomile of all. I'm just gonna call you chamomile, if that's okay. Or if there's another name I can call you. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, Japanese is amazing. Um, I, one thing that I always wanted to do when I, um, like a life goal was to learn a language. So I learned Portuguese. Um, it's one of those languages that's not really spoken a lot of places, but it has improved my confidence. I used to live in Brazil. Um, and I, it really has helped my understanding of other languages. So when I went to France or in Spain, you can pick up the root words. Um, but I really want to build on that and learn, um, uh, um, I really want to learn Spanish, but I always wanted to learn a language, and I think that's pretty one of the cool things that you can do. Um, but I, I love that you're starting to learn how to smoke meat. My goal is to be able to, in our new house, or get a house where we have a backyard, and then do smoking streams because I want it's something definitely that I want to get into too and learn. Um, because I just always wanted to get a barbecue and I think in streaming outside would be a lot of fun as well, especially in Australian summer. So any tips and tricks you can give me um, or what to like buy and yeah, I'd love to keep in touch. Um, lick my bowls, got them. What? I just, um, I think just watching your stream is cheering me up. Oh, thank you, April. Hey, Lost Pod Files, how you doing? What's going on? How have you been, Lost Pod Files? Um, Smash Crabbin, that's old. What, what are you talking about? Um, I just want a son. I had a father who was away on business trips for 99% of my childhood. I always told myself I would do that differently when, if I got a son. What do you mean? What happens if you have a daughter as well? But I like that now. That's it, it's it, that's a beautiful thing, you know, knowing that how you had the childhood and how you want to be do uh, do something different. Um, morning, Molly. Hope you're well, hun. Best smile on Twitch. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, if you want to learn Japanese, watch anime. What does she want? That's those you That's all I know. Ligma bowl joke. I sorry. Way over my head. Does someone want to explain the Ligma Bowl joke? I have no idea what you're talking about. Guys, I'm like an old lady. I don't get this stuff. 
daughter, same thing, um, but I got a horrible hand coordination, so I would be bad. Oh, Neff, you are melting my heart. Bad at braiding. That's, that is the cutest thing ever. Um, see, we were talking about hand-eye coordination last night because we were talking about my, that I suck at video games. Like, I was playing um, Crash Bandicoot last night, and I am terrible, and I was really down in the dumps. And Nixie was like, you know, I just hand-eye coordination, whatever. Does that mean if you've got good high hand, blah, 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 good hand-eye coordination, you reckon Exceed would be good at braiding? That's pretty good. I like I'm gonna hand over our kids to him like, do the hair. Um, tis like these nuts joke. New school kids being, I guess. Okay. Okay. I'm alright. Ligma bowls. Oh, I get ya. Good one, chamomile. Eee, I get ya. Um, I can't believe I found someone so wholesome that the, the ligma joke went over their head. Right, sometimes I say things out loud and I don't actually hear it, but now I hear it. I, I thought you were talking about something expensive. Bowls. I'm a grown ass man. I get this extra. Don't, don't, don't say that, it's sad, don't. Because I think the most important thing in in life that you, I never want anyone to get rid of is having uh, like that childhood, uh, childish behavior, like and that, you know, that ability to laugh at anything and make jokes. I think that's amazing, an amazing quality. I think that more people need to play and have fun and find humor in the small things. So don't think, don't say it's extra sad. Don't ever say that about yourself. And I always get that about me being wholesome. I I don't know. It's like that. I it. I don't even want to say. Uh, Ninja got really upset at someone for the ligma joke. Really? Oh. See that? I I don't get upset at things like that. So I don't usually get them. I don't get the joke. Hey, I appreciate it coming for an old bastard like me. Ah, you guys made me laugh. Do you really think I'm wholesome though? I, I don't know. Like, I just think that... Like, I swear and I like... I don't know. I just don't think that Twitch or the world needs any more negative people or whatever. I just think that... I, I used to really think that I needed to defend myself and I was like, I'm not wholesome, you know. I do think, you know things but like people can think about me however they want it's just me that's who I am and if, it's that, if that's awesome then that's nice it means that like I think that wholesome is a nice word <laughs> all right enough of being wholesome let's let's do some cooking so I have two potatoes I can get it out of the bag It's it's nearly 11 a.m. and I am just drinking tea. All right. So. So we're gonna make some hash brown. Hey Moon. I don't know how. I don't know if it's exceed, but how this this. Uh, bowl always ends up in this vessel. Have some vodka with me, throw in a slice of lime and you're good to go. No, no, no. I Oh! I'm, uh, it's not like I'm, I'm not drinking. Well, I'm trying to not drink alcohol. Like when we go out for dinner or whatever, like I'll have some, but I just, just trying to be healthier. Been waiting to pop my resub, but can't think of a good time to do it, so I'll just do it now to get that out of the way. Oh, Moon, you're so sweet. Any time's a good time. Hey, Moon, 14 months in a row. Hey, I'm new here. Moony, Moony, Moon. Thank you for that, Risa. So, Moon. 
I'll explain it to you, but if, if for all our new viewers, uh, every sub gets uh, all of the recipes made on um, stream today, as well as uh, in our previous stream. So there's a file of over 520 recipes. Um, everything from vegan, vegetarian, keto, <laughs> carnivorous, carnivorous, like meaty dishes. We've got theme streams, like yesterday we did Harry Potter, uh, Game of Thrones, Pokemon, so much fun food. Um, and I like, there's just so much good food that I want to like re redo some. Um, but we're, we're always adding in there. Each, each week we add between 10 and 15 new recipes. Um, Neff says, who doesn't have a sub? I can use my credit card, but my bank account is accepted. I can't use my credit card, but my bank account is accepted. So I'll be able to gift a sub. Oh, Neff, you're so sweet. Um, and so <laughs> you guys are throwing me off. Substitutes receive recipes. Tier one gets the mm emote. Who's got the mm emote? I want to see them in chat. Uh, you get 500 Molly dollars out in stream currency moon, and then a pin in Molly Topia. So this is our sub world map. Subs around the world. So then we've got moon up here in Sweden. The blue. Look at those mm emotes. Have we got some tier two emotes? See if you want to throw me show some emotes. All right, so hash brown. We've had this argument a lot on stream, the, the different ways of making hash brown. Ixie likes the one that's in a shape where I like the one that's crunchy on the edges. Cat, how you doing? Cat's not hot. How you doing? I think you're hot, cat. Gothic Princess doesn't have a... Is that I don't? Does that mean you don't have a sub? Pharaoh! Hello! Buenos dias! Buenos noches! Buenos tarde! Good morning, good evening, good afternoon everybody coming in. So... We've got the poodles behind me. We're gonna do a countdown, like a countdown to move. There's 19, no, did I say 19 days exceed until we, we leave this house? Um, but this time in two weeks, 14 days until our giveaway stream. So if you here in chat, you do exclamation mark giveaway, make sure you join our giveaway. It'll be drawn in two weeks for your chip. Sorry, for your chance to win. Um, one of five prizes. I'm good. I didn't forget what you told me that I have to have try real ramen sometimes this year. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I do remember that. Thank you for reminding me. Farrah, it's probably one of our favorite things. See, that's one thing we have to add to the list. We have to have ramen before we leave here. War Zwaria? I don't know how to pronounce it. Hello, please forgive me. Hey yo! Uh, no problem, Gothic Princess. It's just a pleasure to have you in chat and have you talking. It's so lovely to see you. Um. So I want to know your favorite breakfast food. We're making some um, eggs Benedict now on hash brown. But I want to know what your favorite breakfast food. Are you a sweet pancake person? Are you like eggs? Are you are you basic like just eggs on toast? Are you a scramble? What do you like? Tell me what's your favorite. I've got stuff on my hands. Moon shadow gifted to Ao Kate. Wow, she's not present at the moment, but I figured I would gift her anyway. Moon, thank you very much for that second. Oh, Moon just does it for, Moon just does it for the Warheads. Waffles, Farrah likes waffles. I'm a big, oh, I'm a big waffle fan. But do you like sweet or savory waffles? So, you can, for every two subs we receive, we do a Warhead, guys. Um, and you can vote in chat what flavor. One, two, three, four, five, or six. So there's blue, raspberry, apple, black cherry, lemon, watermelon, or don't eat a warhead, Molly. 
Where's my big tail though? Neff, thank you for gifting to Kat. Kat, welcome to Miss Molly Makes. Welcome to the Molly fam. So Kat, as a sub, you receive all of the recipes made on stream. Chris Blackwood, thank you for that follow. How are you today? Welcome everybody to Miss Molly Makes. My name is Molly. We have Exceed behind the scenes. And then we've got the poodles up on the wall behind me. So you'll see them walking around. Uh, right now we're making some eggs benedict um, on some hash browns. So we're making the hash brown. Then we're going to make some keto uh, ramen. And finish off with a berry... It's got a galette, but it's like a... Um, it, it's like a, a tart. You have a low tolerance to sour stuff. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, so, Chris, you've just come in at the right time. So, let me wash my hands. Chris Blackwood. Um, okay. Neff, thank you for so much for gifting Zwan. I don't know how to pronounce him, you haven't told me yet. Um, but welcome to the Molly fam, everybody. We're gonna eat a black cherry. Oh, exceed. So we only have lemon, blue raspberry, and black cherry left. Okay, just letting you know. Um, so for the people that have been gifted, I need to know your location around the world. So subs receive all of the recipes made on stream. So it's a file of about 520 recipes. And then each week we add between 10 and 15 new ones. You get um, some Molly Dollars, our in-stream currency. So tier ones receive 500 Molly Dollars. You get the mmm emote and a pin in Molly Topia in our sub board map. The fucking? How you doing? Welcome to this one next. <laughs> All right. So I apologize in advance, guys, because. Uh, black cherry or sour words I cannot um, eat. Um, my tolerance is terrible. Moon loves it. So for every two subs you receive, we eat a warhead. Uh, it's not a, a fun thing for me, but... Oh god. Oh, it's stuck to the top of my mouth. <laughs> oh. Ah, so much saliva. Oh. Like it just comes. <sighs> Sweet now. Oh, Blech. goodness me! Oh, I need some water and some tea. All oh, head time, best thing on Twitch. <laughs> All right, so Kat, where are you located around the world so we can get you in Millitopia? Our sub world map and the person's name who I can't pronounce. Why? Yeah. So first, tell me now how to pronounce your name because I I feel for you. Like I didn't really appreciate it until I go into people's chat and they call me Miss Molly Cakes and it does my head in because I'm like you can read, but there are some people who have tricky names and it's really hard to pronounce. But People call me Miss Molly Cakes when like we stream or we raid and like Miss Molly Cakes, how you doing? Miss Molly Cakes, Miss Molly Cakes. Gotta love the get that warhead action going. Oh gosh, I'm trying to get more friends on here. Oh, God. <laughs> no, you're too cute. All right, so let's get Cat. Where are you? 
Hello, Miss Molly and chat. How is everyone going today? We're doing really well. Check me out. I love your name. Welcome to Miss Molly Makes. Uh, we're making some hash browns. So here I've just um, grated some potato. So I'm using red royal potatoes. They're like a starchy potato. Um, you can rinse them as well if you wanted to, to um, help them go a little bit crunchier. But what I've done is just got some paper towel and just kind of soaked up some of that moisture and some of that starch. Molly Toby is cool to look at. Oh, you reckon? So we're going to put Cat up there. And I thank you. How sweet of you to say. Yeah. Rub it. Do, do. Do, 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 do. There we go. Cat, where is your location? Let me put you in Molly-topia. At least Molly isn't hiding the fact that she's taking over the world. <laughs> Cat's not is uh, from Ireland and Zoe is from Norway. Oh, how do you know that? Is the creepy old guy I met in the playground. <laughs> Ireland. All right, let's pop you. I think you're the first person from Ireland, Cat. That's pretty cool. Alright, Kat, this is your pin. Alright. Here you go. You're the first person that's ever, not, oh, maybe ever. I don't know if there's a pin hole there. But Kat, you're the first person back. Since we've wiped the board, you're the first person in Ireland. There's your pin. You always know where you reside in Molytopia. And then who else? Norway. Norway, Norway, Norway. So. I love your um, subscriber idea. So adorable. Thank you very much. And then Norway, we figured out, is here. It's up here, isn't it, guys? Z -z -z okay, I don't know how to say it. Exceed, help me. Is it Zwaya? Is that how you say their name? See if Molly can find Norway. We are having this issue yesterday because I was putting, couldn't find Finland and I kept putting it in Norway. They are my friends. Oh, thanks, Neff. So you guys received the recipes, Molly Dollars. No, I put it. I put it in Sweden. Man, 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 man. I put it in the wrong one. Okay. Hold on. So where? Hold on. This is Norway. I got some There we go. Moon, there's your pin then. <laughs> and there's wire. Apparently that pin looks like it could be pinned in either Sweden or Norway. That definitely looks like it was placed on Sweden. Yeah, it was. And I got your, your, your pin's been on there for over, what, a year and a half? A year? And you haven't noticed that it was in Norway the whole time. I think you nailed it literally, yeah. Okay, so in here is just some um, grated potato. We're gonna do some salt and pepper. I'm gonna get a spoon. I put a lot of pepper. And then we're just gonna fold that through. We're gonna add uh, two eggs. This is going to be for our hash. And then I also... <coughs> to put that there. There we go. So, we want to mix this through. So that's going to be our hash brown. I like to put a bit of nutmeg in there, but I think I'll just leave it plain. I like it personally better with, um, what do you call it? Um, sweet potato. But normal potatoes good too. 
Okay, so you can either do it in the pan or in uh, the oven. But Exceed told me he likes it better in the pan. So I like it extra crispy and crunchy. You lay it out flat, put it on a like a pan and put it in the oven. So that will be our hash brown. We've got some bacon here. Some beautiful rashes of bacon. What I'm going to do is just take off this rind like this. That's like the dogs are eating spaghetti. Been since I caught you. How are you today? TJ, I hope you're doing so well. Okay, so we've got bacon, hash brown. We've got some eggs. Um, I thought I've just got some tomatoes here that were just sitting in the uh, fridge. And then, except do you like tomato? We've got a tomato there. A tomato, tomato, tomato. Um, and then I'm going to make a hollandaise. So, that's why I've got these two little bowls here. We're going to get our two eggs, like this. And we're going to separate them. Turkey, please! How are you today? Welcome to Miss Molly Makes. There we go. One. So we're just separating the egg yolk from the egg white. So we're going to use the egg white for our keto, um, what's it for? Our keto pastry for our galette a little bit later on. There we go. Pop that aside. Yesterday I put had egg yolks and I knocked them over and they went all over the bench. It wasn't my fault. I always have a, I, I have a tendency to knock things over when there's a lot of mess here. It's towards the end of the stream, luckily. Um, someone recommend me, recommended me uh, your channel so I can see how cooking streams are done. Taki, are you looking to get a like start your own cooking channel? Who recommended me? How, who can I thank for that? Welcome to Miss Molly Makes. So this, uh, we're just about to move out of this kitchen, so we're getting a new setup in the next few months. But it's lovely that you can join us. All right, so over here, we've got a nice hot pan, and I'm just gonna put some oil, because we don't want our hash brown to stick. It's not coming out. how you like it and how thin, if you want it crispy or you like it a little bit chunkier, just like that. So this is just potato with some egg and salt and pepper. Very plain, Jane. And then we're going to make some hollandaise sauce and we're going to make some deliciousness on top. Um, Keza the Happy Gamer. Ah, oh, we love Keza. It was lovely that you could come in and hang out. This is really peaceful too. Ah, oh, thank you very much. What is the um, the command for dollars? The Molly dollars? Uh, Moon just showed you. So make sure the new people that are in our chat and the new people are watching today, uh, we have a giveaway. So do you want to bring up the giveaway? Uh, this time in two weeks to celebrate our last stream in this house. A 245th stream. Uh, we're gonna do five uh, items. The first, the first prize, the larger prize, is a down under box that you can see. Uh, so that's full of Australian food. Uh, you're full of uh, Tim Tams and Vegemite, some of our favourite foods that we grew up with. Um, so we're giving away a box of that. And then the other four prizes will be um, cookie time packs. So cookies. We're gonna do um, a postcard from the stream. 
um, and some fun things in there. And then hopefully if we hit 2,000 followers um, by, the, in, by two weeks, then we're going to do another giveaway as well, something extra special. So if you haven't followed the channel and you're liking the show, make sure you hit that follow button. Um, and then also the, get the giveaway link in chat, which Exceed has just done. Click that and then you have, I think, nine um, opportunities to enter. All right, so we'll just turn that over. Crank that heat up a little bit more. Australian snacks, yeah. And we'd love if you could share the link and share our stream. Uh, and then we can get some people who haven't had the opportunity to see a cooking stream before hang out with us. And like I said, if we get to 2,000 followers, then we're going to do another giveaway. So hash browns, um, all right, hollandaise will get cooking, so I'm just going to get a pan of water, pot of water. We have our egg yolks, and I'm going to get a small pot of water here, like this, that, hopefully it's going to sit like that on there. Start to heat that up. Um, so sit in here. I'm going to go outside, Chester. So I'm going to get some butter, some lemon juice, two lemon juice, let me cut this, butter, Benedict without without the bread. You could use an English muffin if you didn't want to use. Oh, sorry, that was my fault. I set the dog off. If you didn't want to use hash brown, you could use um, English muffin. You could use um, some sourdough bread. Whatever. Okay, so hash brown there. I'm gonna crispy it up on the other side. So, melting our butter. So, this is called a bay marie or a double boiler. So, you've got a pan of water, and then we've just put so it's slow heat. A lot of things going on right now. That egg yolk's in. Turn my temperature down. And some lemon juice. A lot of people freak out about hollandaise and think it's hard, but it's actually quite simple. Just gonna try not to like lean over this. So what you're doing is you're 
adding the butter to make a emulsification. Um, you're coagulating the eggs with your lemon juice or you could use, um, definitely use like vinegar. my mushrooms like that put them in some red wine if you wanted to poach them but some of them very very simple god I love eggs benedict oh we're eating another warhead oh gosh all right so when you have black cherry blue raspberry or lemon left so everyone how many people have voted hollanders We only have, uh, we have no apple, we only have black cherry, blue raspberry, and lemon left. So it looks like black cherry won because everyone's voting for the wrong ones. Neff, no. Miss Obvious, how are you? Welcome to Miss Molly Makes. Alright, black cherry is exceed. Stop the clock! Warheads is a great experience for us, yes. Let me just turn that off. I apologize in advance, everyone. GG me, I voted for the flavor that's not even available. All right. Black cherry, everybody. God, this makes me more sick. Oh! Yeah, I have to admit. Black hair is the best. It's so much worse than the other one. Oh, God. Oh. 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 It's so much worse than the one before. But the other one was a bit sticky at it. Oh god, so much saliva. Oh. 
There you go. That's the Warhead experience, everyone. Okay. Suxi, did you say if you wanted scrambled or um, fried eggs? Scramble or fried, scramble or fried, scramble or fried. Uh, scramble fried or um, poached, sorry. I gave you three options. Scramble. <laughs> Who's punishing poor Molly? Tastes like sour cough drop? No. Can't, kind of. Kind of, kind of. Just really sour. But like, my mouth is like, oh, it's just like I'm just eating citric acid. The mushy's there. So I need to get this pan. I'm gonna do our bacon in here and then I'm gonna get another pan and do the these mushrooms here. The hash brown, we'll put the hash brown in the oven. We kind of need some like spinach or kale. Do the greenery, everybody. Or some vegetables. You know? Alright, we'll take this guy away. Woo -hoo -hoo. I need an omelette. Miss Molly makes save me. Um, I wouldn't, con um, I wouldn't condone, um, I don't condone, how about that? Neff, I don't condone drunk, drunk cooking. I love mushrooms too. Because he's not a huge fan. Have you guys tried mushroom soup? See how hot that one is? It's smoking. Smoking. Alright, ready? So, key to making the best scrambled eggs is having a really hot pan, in my opinion, that has a hot oil in it already. So then you won't stick, and then what you want to do is lubricate the sides, and it's going to be really, really hot. Scramble your eggs already. Depending how you like your bacon. So I'm just gonna put like this is cooking in its own oil. This is starting to spit, which is good. But you want it really, really hot. 
So every chef, every cook has their own opinion on the way to make scrambled eggs, but this is my way. So we're using the cooking to scramble the eggs. Just dip a little bit in there to see how hot it is. And I want it really, really, really hot. Ready? That was probably not hot enough. It's okay. We wanted the spatula. You're gonna bring it in like this to the sides. Silicon's the best because you don't have to worry about it melting. And just bring it into the middle like that. And move it around. You can flip it over. Break it up if you wanted to. And then, like that, nearly done, turn it off. Also take, turn it off the heat. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, I hit my head on the drain foot. Like that. People probably like it a bit crispier, but. Like this. Okay. Now we go over to here. Okay. And now we have a plate. a mushroom or two like this you can look at from that way and then last but not least the drizzle of our hollandaise on top it's not pretty but my gosh it will be delicious bit of that look at that hash brown eggs benedict what do you reckon all right where's my I'm just gonna take a quick snap give this to exceed hey tom how you doing Dogs can 
Brown. So this is our hash brown that we've made. You can fry it up a little bit more, make it crunchier if you want. Probably do less egg. And then we'll get some mushrooms. And my favorite. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat much of these eggs, so I'll just leave that egg there for it to see. Second meal. It's his second breakfast, right? And then hollandaise. Mm, my hollandaise is good. Not too much lemon juice, not too much acidity. Oh, I didn't cook the tomato. That's bad. Oh, good. And then you got leftovers. Do, 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 do. Put that there. So, how's everyone's weekend been? If you're coming in to chat, I want to hear the the three top things of your week. If you want to tell me. Top three things that happened to you this week. Some little wins, fist pump moments, having food on your chin. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Looks good, thank you very much. So I'm just having some bacon hash brown. Mmm. Mmm. I know you. I know I already asked you. I'm talking to everyone now. And if you haven't joined the giveaway, make sure you join the giveaway. You get, there is, you get up to nine, um, nine entries into the giveaway. Um, it'll be drawn this time in two weeks. Two weeks. It'll be our last room in this kitchen. Do you know? Mmm. Babysitting all our evening. Still them, but the little one is sitting. Oh, Neff. Um, yeah, Neff, the giveaway. Um, Moon, um, the little one's sleeping. You've done a good job then. I'm very impressed. Um, the giveaway is rigged though because of the papa question. That is an unfair question to ask. <laughs> Chizu, found your channel, got a job and had a thunderstorm. You got a job, congratulations. Is a thunderstorm a good thing though? Chizu, we were talking about you yesterday actually, um, last night's stream, that you were introduced by Dimu, right? Mmm. I like rain too. Not to be in it. I don't like. I like, don't like. I like to listen to rain. I like to see it, but I like to be warm indoors. Winning a fortnight against a pro team at the end last two were my. Woo! Defu, that's amazing. Nailing salmon perfect with her butter. Go you! And tomato plants transplanted late, but they will produce some. That's exciting. Wow! So you put them from a pot into like the, uh, like a garden bed? Oh, Hi. Yes, I have bacon. No, you can't have any. Do 
Chest up. Yeah, good boy. Yes, Chizu, we were talking about, because Dimmer was in our stream last night because we were playing, um, we were playing Crash Bandicoot and not very well on my behalf and I was getting really triggered. But, he did say that you were enjoying the stream, which made me really happy. It does make me happy when I hear new people and everybody, you know, news and everyone that's enjoying our channel. I don't know if it's hot in here, but I'm not feeling too good. Maybe it's the oven, maybe it's the heater. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've got ugly on. Alright. Once I eat this, we're going to make some keto pastry. And we're going to make a galette. Has anyone heard of a galette before? Or should I just call it a tart? Exe, do you know what a galette is? That. You know, I'm gonna cry if the part of the food processor that I need is in the dishwasher and it's dirty. Very nice, Miss Molly. What is the difference? Yeah, I love it. You and your husband do a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. You do try very hard. Um, so a galette. Okay, Google. What's the difference between a galette and a tart? On the website becachin.com, they say, both of them differ from tarts in the sense that a tart is baked into a tart pan. Crostatas and galettes are typically free-form and rustic, with the dough edges folded up around the filling, which can be savory or sweet. Yeah. So it's like a, it's like a more of a rustic kind of, you just a galette like this freehand. Yeah, definitely. Miss obvious. Yes. Mmm. Mm. Damn you, past Molly. How are you doing the dishes? Let's turn the dishwasher on. Well, it's not. You know when it's half full? You don't want to turn the dishwasher on? These mushrooms are good. Mm. Okay. So I have a variety of berries here. So I have some blueberries and some raspberries. They're frozen, so I'm just defrosting them. Look at the beautiful frost on there. Um, and then I've just got them under here. It hasn't melted yet, that's why. But just to catch any excess moisture. Um, no strawberries. I don't have any strawberries. And frozen strawberries aren't good, in my opinion. But cooked strawberries aren't good, uh, in my opinion. I find that strawberries... Um, go all funny when they're cooked into anything. They're best only fresh. So, I'm looking out for everyone. I can just eat. I don't like frozen blueberries, but frozen raspberries are so much better than um, fresh raspberries, in my opinion. But I always have to say, in my opinion, because then people argue with me. Alright. Washing my food processor bowl. What we're going to do is make a keto pie crust where we literally have um, almonds that we're going to turn into ground almond meal. Um, we're going to use some egg white, some coconut flour, um, and butter. Butter, butter, butter. The Oprah, um, giveaway opens in the wrong web browser. That's your system's default, not the giveaway. Mm. Okay. 
So, we need a blade first. Gosh, is that in here as well? What? Where's the blade for my first person? <laughs> oh, there it is, over there. Basically what we want is a hundred grams of, if I can fit this on here, a hundred grams of almonds, so I did this last a few days ago but I used um, warm room temperature butter. Don't do that. It has to be cold. Okay. So that's 100 grams of almonds. Let me take one out. There you go. And that's going to go into our food processor. Okay. We want 100 grams of coconut, shredded coconut. Or if you have coconut flour, just use that. I just find coconut flour and almond flour is just very expensive for what it is. So I prefer to make my own. Blend them up first before I add the butter to make them into like a, a flour, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the mic and do a quick Miss Molly mix. Are you ready? So I'm just, usually I do this in my Nutribullet, but I thought I'll do it in my food processor and it's actually quite interesting because it chops rather than like pulverizes the um, nuts so it doesn't break it down as fine into flour. I might actually move it into my Nutribullet. Hmm, so interesting. Frustrating at the same time. So it's like into coarse sand, whereas the Nutribullet kind of breaks it down a lot easier. Maybe because it's like less surface area maybe. I have to manually fit in my info in the YouTube, Discord, Twitch, Facebook. I know, I gotta check behind all the entering options. Am I done now? You mean in the entering? I'll get excited to have a look. So Neff's talking about the giveaway, guys. If you haven't, it's, it's not as hard as Neff's making it out to be uh, to enter. Okay. So I'm just gonna do another quick Miss Molly mix, and I'm gonna do it in here. See if this works better.
All right, I know this is really weird, but I actually prefer the process of what it looks like when you use both. It just makes it like much nicer. Like it, the the food processor chunks it, whereas this makes it thinner. Like um, the dogs are just having fun time. Okay, so into there, we have 100 grams of um, almond flour, 100 grams of coconut flour. We're gonna add two egg whites. Hold on, let me do. We better do the um, cold butter first. So we're gonna need 100 grams of cold butter. It's coming straight out of the fridge. You want it nice and cold, like I said. And you wanna cut it into chunks. Just be happy I ain't Belgian. You responded, can you type it again? I accidentally closed Twitch. <laughs> okay, so. Don't mind me, I'm Dutch. So that's. Sometimes this knife is just feels really sharp and then other times so I get nine boxes if I win. <laughs> Alright, so some nice chunks of the butter. Like that. And you just want to put them around here. And you want to pulverize them and pulse them so it breaks up those butter. Okay, so muting for another quick miss by me. All right, so that's 100% better than what it looked like when I made it the first time a few days ago. So, the day that we were gonna make chick uh, chicken and leek pie, but then the stream cut out because we had like shitty internet that day. I still made it, but lucky I didn't make it on stream because the pastry didn't work. Because they didn't use cold butter. So now what you wanna do, Add your two eggs and work it into the mixture. Transfer off. So I think, I don't think you add the, like that, add the two egg whites and two eggs. It's a lot of, there we go. And then we have to add in some psyllium as well. Psyllium is just some extra fibre, but it's also going to bring it all together. Take that out. Okay. I feel like it's just too wet. Like the recipe says that it's crumbly. I feel like I'm missing something. and work it into the mixture, transfer your dough into a flat working bench and bring it together into a bowl, wrap it. Okay, maybe we're supposed to refrigerate it. Maybe it's just the moisture's gonna be absorbed. Because that is the same consistency I had last time. 
because that's not a ball. Emma! Mm, ramen is the best, yeah. So we're making the pastry for our galette right now. This keto pastry is supposed to be amazing, but I don't know, I don't know how to make it properly. Maybe it just needs to go in the fridge. Okay, so what I want now is scrape the edges like that. And we're just gonna put that in the fridge like that. We're out pretty late. What were you up to last night? Okay, ramen. So this is gonna be a recipe that kind of scares me because. We're using these noodles. So these are called, uh, they're super low cal, but they're called, um, I think it's sirataki, or um, they've got konjac root extract. So that's what they're made from. I think it's called sirataki noodles. But they're in this gross kind of liquid. Spider-Man, because, um, Mithis, how you doing? Welcome to Smiley Makes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the, um, the, open the bag and then I'm gonna rinse them off. Just hanging out with Seth's family. Oh, lovely. So these are low calorie noodles that we're going to make the ramen with. They don't smell too good, but we'll see. Hopefully we can make a nice broth and it'll kind of like... So these are the noodles. So they're like, they're like a little bit like jelly. They look like um, rice noodles, but they smell a bit funny. So they're made from konjac root. It's got a seed there. Um, yeah, let me just taste one by itself. They kind of taste like nothing. So mm, they're chewy. So let's make a broth. So I've got chicken and I'm gonna make a miso broth. So I've got miso here. Um, I've got some coriander, some chicken broth. Um, I haven't really thought about how I'm gonna do this, but I'm just gonna wing it. Those are weird, hopefully tasty. Yeah, they kind of taste like nothing. So, we're gonna get a saucepan full of some water. Like this. I'll put it there so you guys can see inside the bowl. I'm gonna heat that up. Heat up. All right, so first, we're gonna add some miso. So this is red, I think it's red miso powder. Yeah, red. is quite salty broth. I'm gonna put some chicken chicken stock powder in there. Alright. And now we want to add some chili flakes. Nice and 
spicy. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I'm just gonna do like a cheats version. Um, I'm gonna get some fresh ginger. miso breath with bean sprouts and corn ah oh. see I'm a tonkatsu fan and I um I do like miso though but I need to I need to be more adventurous with me adventurous with my rum I know what I like but um and your comfort yeah so we're doing our next event next Saturday is Emma be free Emma B's um stream theme stream we're doing southern comfort food healthy version We've got some good things lined up, haven't we, Emma? Some amazing recipes. Do do do. So, some sliced chicken. I'm not going to use all of this chicken. Um, I'm going to make some food for Exceed because it's really hard to take soup to work. You know, I have um, two weeks of work left, but it's seven shifts. Seven shifts of work left. It's come around so fast. Uh, uh, Big Woody, hello! So Emma, you need to tell me, green tomatoes, do I just, I like, a green tomatoes, you bite raw, like ripe, unripe tomatoes. So how does it work? Moving house is the worst and the best thing at once. Yeah, it is. So really, basically, what you're gonna do is just get this chicken that I've like sliced and diced, and you just wanna put it in there like that. That's gonna gently poach. You know, Emma, we realise we've been in five houses in the last four years. Which I don't know if is amazing or sad. Crazy. Not sad, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Uh, something to put on top of the ramen. Oh, I can do an egg. Yep, 
Yeah, unwrap in green but firm. It's okay if you've already started to turn a bit red. Okay. Makes it easy for me. Alright, I forgot to cook my eggs, so I'm gonna do that now. So I'm just gonna poach an egg rather than a uh, soft boil, I'm just gonna poach one. Oh my gosh, this broth is so good. And I'm gonna throw those noodles in. Noodles straight in like that. And then hopefully they can soak up some of that beautiful flavor. It's looking a bit of plain Jane. Um, hopefully you can find some there. I accidentally bought a tom tomatillo once instead. So I've never been able to find a tomatillo here, but I've wanted to to make a sauce. Um, I might like talk to the grocer and ask them specifically, hey, do you have any, uh, can you keep me an unwrapped tomato? Okay, so in here is just water. And we're gonna add some vinegar. We're gonna poach an egg. And what's gonna happen is that vinegar is gonna be an acid and it's gonna react with the proteins of the egg and it's gonna coagulate and bring it all together. So guys, I just am gonna make a, take a really two second break. Um, I just need to go to the toilet real quick, um, but we'll be right back, okay?
Ari. All right. Can you hear me? Did I turn the... There we go. Um, so I left the, the egg on accidentally. Hopefully it's not too overcooked. beautiful it's like maybe just perfect sweet ass okay stay there eggy stay thanks for waiting everyone okay oh thank god wow Neff. so this is our very simple ramen but very flavorful simple with the toppings but so what I want to show you Oh, I did pack it. Oh god. I was like gonna get these this spatula that like looked like this, but it had little tongs on it, like that, to pick up pasta. I was like, I won't need that. And I was just about to say to you guys, like I knew like I wasn't gonna use it, but I didn't pack it, but I did pack it. All right, so these are konjac noodles or sirataki noodles. So keto-friendly ramen with our poached chicken in there. And now we're gonna add this beautiful broth. So in here we have miso, we've got um, a Chinese cooking wine, garlic, ginger, chili flakes, um, We've added some fish sauce, um, sesame oil. We have packed a bit, M. We have. Um, there's always a lot more to do, though. It's all the stuff in the kitchen that's going to be the like the long stuff. Okay. So then we're going to add some of this kale. See how un, like, uncolorful this kale is? Once you dimp it, dimp it, dunk it into this warm broth, you see how vibrant and beautiful color it should come out? Like that. We'll get some of this chicken to go on top. Oh, burn myself. Okay, now you want this egg. See how this egg is poached? I'm gonna put it here. We're gonna clean that up a bit and we're gonna cut it in half. So, you can see how it's full of the natural shape. Cut out that little tail. And then, you should just be able to cut it in half like that. Look at that! That is a killer egg. Damn, girl! And I went to the toilet and forgot about it. Thought I had overcooked it. So you don't have to um, hard boil or soft boil eggs, you can just poach it. And I'm gonna get some chili. Gooey egg. I'm so that. Look at that! Oh, I am so impressed. Something that I thought would look so very simple and boring actually turned out quite well. And it's 
best to I find that it's best to take photos of eggs and things while they look quite pretty and gooey like that. Oh no, I um packed my ramen spoons, my noodle spoons. Gosh, I'm such a ninny sometimes. Again, ramen's my favorite thing ever. All right, let's try these noodles. Hmm. Like that, I don't know how to taste, but. Hmm. Hmm. I think they add a smell. That's not bad. Mmm, so it is good. Definitely not bad. Mmm. The broth is what makes it. That's a bit better. Mmm. Yum. Now we're gonna make the galette. This is what I'm nervous about. Oh gosh. Still feels really dry, like wet. I think I'm gonna have to put it in a... It just feels really wet, guys. I don't know if it just needs to be in the fridge for a lot longer. But I really don't think it's gonna keep the shape. See? Like it. It's not gonna keep its shape. But what I wanna do and see, if I put it in the fridge for longer and like. Maybe in the freezer? Chill for at least an hour before. Mm. Yeah, smash. We, we've eaten two warheads. See how it's like melting? I don't know. Hi, Chester. I just think that I want to put it in the fridge for a little bit longer and see what it turns out like. So, what I'm thinking is. I might leave it and do like an Instagram video. Chill in the freezer for 20 minutes. That's what I reckon, Emma. What I might do is put it in the fridge for, or the freezer for at least two to three hours and then try and make, because I don't want to waste the ingredients and it not work out because if I need to know if it, if it actually works and it's a, a recipe that I can use in the future, um, because if I can, then it will be, it is delicious. Um, but I need to, I made it, this is the second time I've made it and it's never worked out work well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the fridge for at least two to three hours till it's really cold and then I'm gonna make a, 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 an Instagram video and then put it up on 
the socials. So I'll put it in Discord and everything because I, I, I owe it to the recipe to do it how it says. Um, and JT Money Bank, yo yo, how you doing? Welcome to Smelly Makes. Um, and if you're coming in and you haven't joined the, dis, uh, the giveaway, we're doing a giveaway in two weeks. We have nine opportunities to enter, get nine entries. So, yeah, that's going to go in the fridge. I think I might wrap it in some cling wrap. I get sad when I have to make, like, I, I can't stream just for one recipe. But I think an Instagram video will be better. I can, inst I can chunk it up and then we can put it on the YouTube. On the YouTube. How are you, JT? So. If, because I might talk, uh, talk to Sema. Sema4 gave me the recipe and said that it's an amazing keto crust, but I have to talk and see how they make it. Because what I'm thinking is the almonds and the coconut soak up all the, um, the moisture. It may be because I'm using coconut that I ground myself rather than proper coconut flour. That might be another alternative. So maybe I can just use another. I just got into baking myself. Really fun. What have, what have, what have you been baking? Hey Betsy, how are you? So, make that into like a... There we go. Make that into like a little hat. Because then if you make it into a rectangle, it will be easier to roll out. So you can see the nice chunks of butter in there. So this is a keto pie crust, guys. So we've got um, eggs, Almond flour, coconut flour, but I didn't actually use the proper coconut and almond flour. What I did is use the the whole almonds and ground them, and then co shredded coconut. So that me might might be my downfall. Are you gonna attempt croissants? I haven't attempted croissants ever. I have always wanted to. So JT, let me know how it goes because you you can be my inspiration. It's really crumbly, Emma, so I don't know what's... I might have to take the gamble and buy coconut flour and then it's food. What else? Um, but, do you everyone see our ramen? Look at that. This is keto ramen, so we use sirataki noodles, um, which are made from konjac. Um, and then these are the berries ready to go in my galette that I'm going to make in a few hours now. But I'm just straining because they're fro being frozen. So no, nothing coming out of there. Just give them like that. You just strain them. They've got a little bit of liquid. Maybe I put them in paper towel then. From so the classic four ingredients: uh, flour, salt, yeast, and water. Yum. So it's like a, very similar to a scone. No beet, need bread. Or they call it, um, in, no need bread is called, um, oh, soda bread, soda bread. Because if you don't use yeast, you can use, um, uh, bicarbonate soda or bicarb soda, baking soda, things like that. Um, so, yes, this is sus. Is that your name? So guys, we are doing a giveaway on the 12th of August, which is two weeks today. We're doing five uh, prizes. The first prize is a giveaway of a Down Under box, which is um, a, a brand that we um, do giveaways with quite regularly. So that a lot of uh, Australian food, I have one here. So these are Australian classics. So you've got chocolate cookies, Tim Tams, um, you've got some Milo, which is a malted chocolate drink. Um, Anzac cookies, so these are like an oatmeal cookie that have oats, um, uh, flour, coconut, um, we're using um, golden syrup. And they were made popular um, in World War One and World War Two, where the um, 
families and wives would make them for the soldiers and send them because they, they kept for a long time. Um, you've also got twisties, which are very similar to um, Cheetos. So, and then we're also giving, um, so one down under box and then four cookie time cookie packs. So um, some cookies from a New Zealand company that we were uh, visiting when we went uh, to New Zealand a few weeks ago. Um, and we're gonna do like some postcards and things like that from the stream. So you have uh, five, uh, there's nine chances to win and there's five uh, boxes, five different gifts. Okay, so that's gonna be in 13 days 22 hours and seven minutes. So it'll be this time in two weeks. So you have nine opportunities to win. It's just following the stream, following our social media, so our, like our Facebook, Instagram, things like that. Um, sharing the, um, the tweet that's on Twitter um, and letting more people know about our channel. If you're liking it, hit that follow button, share it with your friends. Uh, if we also, if we get to 2,000 followers um, by that date, we're gonna do an extra giveaway. So uh, if you're liking the stream, you want to be notified when we're live. Um, the next time on, we will be back um, on Tuesday. We're doing Polsh's gym food. So we're going to do a vegetarian stream. Um, Polsh said that he's trying to eat more veggies. So uh, he used his Molly Dollars, our in-stream currency, to redeem a stream. And we're going to do some high protein, really delicious food um, with a lot of veggies. Um, Thursday we're doing Japanese like miso teriyaki sim salmon. Friday's evenings with Xe, which is our weekly gaming stream, and then we're back on Saturday for Emma's Southern Comfort Food. Uh, so we're gonna do some beautiful. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you it's a surprise. Some healthier version of Southern Comfort, um, and then Sunday is spiced glazed chicken. And we're gonna do a whole chicken roast. So. Um, I, we didn't, I haven't found a brekkie casserole. Sorry, Smash. Make sure, maybe um, send me a message on Discord. And I'll have a look for you. So guys, yes, if you're wanting to get a down under box and try some Australian food, I will send it anywhere in the world. Um, all five prizes are anyone in the world. You don't have to be in Australia. Um, they'll come through to you. We are going to jump over now and we are going to... Uh, host Daddy Dimu. We haven't hosted Dimu in such a long time. He um, is been such a supporter of our stream. Uh, he recently hit partner. Uh, we were talking to him last night, and it, we we're gonna jump in and ask him because he was playing um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, which is one of my favorite games. So thank you everyone for being here. Um, we might play some Crash Bandicoot tonight because we've got to beat that stage. Um, but thank you everyone for popping in. Thank you for the subs and the follows. Love to you all. Have a lovely rest of your weekend.